I will keep my comments uh, brief. What I would like to briefly talk about, Tiffany, see how this gives me, the, is the health of our operators. Uh, and although I, uh, if you ask TriMet what one of the major costs associated with labor is health insurance. So one of our number one issues has had little to no conversations about. We have two health care providers that we currently use and have used for over 20 years, Blue Cross and Kaiser. We spend millions of dollars for Mercer Corporation, and I ask for what? We don't get any value out of it. I've asked repeatedly through my tenure to have wellness programs, health fairs, and it's fell on deaf ears. This is not my first trip to the rodeo. I negotiate contracts all the time. In Lane Transit, we created a wellness program that brought the union and management together that talked about those driving costs. The cost of health insurance is going up. What are we doing to make people healthier? We're looking at the schedules. We're still not having enough time to go to point A to point B. The recovery time is being eaten up and our operators are not getting the necessary time to even have the option to have a healthy break and meal. It's unfortunate and we continue to see the effects as our members continue to grow. They grow in size. Type 2 diabetes is uh, uh, within our industry uh, dramatically. But we're doing absolutely nothing to fix it. And it's just ironic that here we are with this huge budget problem. Here we are with all of these huge costs, but nothing has been done. I mean, literally, we have had none. So our operators are susceptible to illnesses. Every day that I'm fighting my cold, and everybody else that's in this industry, as they board the bus, they are, 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 are getting that information to our operators. We use our health insurance more. The statistics that came out show that operators are more likely to die earlier in life because of their job. Some of us are still in this world that, hey, driving a bus is really not that big a deal. The amount of stress that's put on an operator, driving their route, going through the call annunciations, by the way, completely wrong on ADA, you're not 100% compliant with what the law says, and you have not done what you, you and past general managers have stated concerning the disabled community and the union to try to get that together. The only way you can be 100% compliant is to have total automation, and we have not gotten there. Which means our operators are doing all of these different things. The statistics show that the stress on an operator is equivalent to a firefighter or a police officer heading in their 911 mode. We are not taking this seriously. We know when our drivers are distracted, lives are cost. The general manager, unfortunately, didn't tell you the gentleman's name, our operator, Dale Allred, that passed away this last Sunday on the 19th on his layover in a toilet at the Rose Quarter. These are major problems that we need to look at. And guess what? They're right in line with what's driving our costs. So now we're going to take, with your fare increase, we're going to push people onto mass transit. The system currently cannot hold these people. And they cannot get quickly on and off the system to provide efficient service. So that means it's going to create more problems and create more stress on our operators which is going to create more health problems, which is going to increase our health insurance. I will end on this note, sir. Mr. Chairman and the board, you do have a very difficult job. And I will continue to reach out to each and every one of you because this format is absolutely ridiculous for me to try to solve my problems. This is, I get three minutes, I've repeatedly asked to be on the agenda. And it falls on deaf ears. I represent over 2,000 members at TriMet and two uh, uh, lift programs of over close to 500 people. And this is the amount of time that I have able to articulate and talk to each of you. It is, it's ridiculous. The gentleman said previously, these should be your allies. We should be working collectively together. We are not. And we're sitting in the court system now because TriMet continues to break the law. And it's showing. 
And it's going to come back again. And it's going to be even more shortfalls. I'm envy. So instead of using the resources properly, this organization used to be labor friendly, is now anti-union, and is spending. And I hope this board goes and requests and looks at how much money has been spent on colored ads, on promotions, on websites, on information to be anti-union. It's unacceptable. It needs to stop. And I request your assistance. Thank you.